TV. You guys have a choice? TV, TV, TV. TV Too TV, much TV. 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 Okay. We're going to read this book. Too much TV. It says, it was a fine spring day in bear country. The bluebird yeah. was singing, the trout were leaping, and except for one small cloud of dust billowing behind the school bus as it came over the hill, the air was sparkling clean. Mama bear was inside. The family's treehouse picked brother and sister bears half a full sack. Brother and sister bear got off the school bus and came into the kitchen with hardly a hello. Then they did what they did every day. They took their milk and cookies into the living room and switched on the TV. There's no question about it, thought Mama. Those cubs are watching too much TV. Later when Papa Bear came in from the shop and joined brother and sister, Mama became even more convinced. There's absolutely no question about it. The whole bear family is watching too much TV. She wasn't quite sure how, how it had happened. Maybe it began when the old TV broke down and they got a new large screen model. Or maybe it started when Papa began tinkering with new gadgets that brought in programs from all over bear country. But however it had happened, one thing was sure. The Bear family was spending more time watching television and less and less time with all the other things they I made a disaster said. happen. Oh no. Uh oh. The Bear family had always had lively conversations around the dinner table, but not lately. Lately, they just sat around and chewed. The Cubs had all kinds of fun playing outdoors, but not anymore. They were too busy. Can this come closer? I want it close. And the Bear Stooges. <laughs> so they used to play outside, and now they don't because they're just too busy watching all this TV. That evening after dinner, when brother and sister scampered in to turn on the TV, mama stopped them and said her piece. We've been watching all together too much television around here. But mama said, brother, Nutty Bear is coming on and we'll miss it. And the bear stooges added sister. Mama's going to turn the TV off for a whole week. Never mind the butt, said Papa. Your mother is absolutely right. There's a lot more to life than TV, like homework, for an instance, and fresh air and sunshine and exercise. No TV for a week is an excellent idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a sports show I want to watch. Just a moment, Papa, said Mama. No TV for a week means you too. What, said Papa? You can't be serious. But Mama was very serious. What about the news, protested Papa. I won't know what's going on in the world if I don't watch the TV news. Here, try this, said Mama. It's called the newspaper. And the weather, continued Papa, how will we know what the weather will be? Try this, said Mama. It's called putting your hand out the window to see if it's raining. What are we supposed to do? Just sit around and talk? Asked Brother. That'll be fine for starters, said Mama, settling comfortly in, comfortly in her rocking chair. You guys are doing a really good job listening. I'm so proud of all of you. 
but it has been so long since the Bear family sat around and talked that they had sort of forgotten how to. It really didn't matter because pretty soon Papa fell asleep and snored so loudly that they wouldn't have hurt each other anyway. <laughs> After school the next day, the Cubs looked longingly at the TV, but Mama shooed them out the to play. Brother's bike had a tire that needed pumping and sister's trike needed a little oil. And while it seemed strange not watching television, it was really fun to ride bikes and trikes again, sort of. That evening, the Cubs worked on their homework, but it wasn't easy with that blank TV just sitting there staring at them. Then sister noticed an ad in Papa's newspaper, an ad for a special new TV program. Oh, mama, she said, look, a brand new show. No TV for a week means no TV for a week, answered mama. And besides, mother nature has a much bigger show waiting for us. We're going to sit outside and watch the stars come out. Watch the stars come out, complained sister. I don't know if I can stand the excitement, said brother. I think brother's being sarcastic, don't you? But as they sat out under the great sky, a spell came over the bears. It was so big and beautiful. The bears stared at the sky so far, not a single star. Look, cried sister, something flying. Bats, said Papa, out, out for their breakfast of insects. Breakfast, asked brother. That's right, answered Papa. Bats sleep during the day, so this is their breakfast time. I see a star, cried sister. She has found the first tiny star. Let's see if you guys can see that first tiny star right there. You see it? Very little tiny star. I cannot see it. You cannot see it. Okay, ready? Boop. There we go. See that tiny little star right by my finger? Right there. Yeah, that's really. It's a very small little star. Soon there were others. And after a while, the whole sky was full of stars. And it was very special, more special than anything they've ever seen on TV. It was a sharper picture too, and a much, much, much bigger screen. Look at all the stars now. You see them all? Oh. Wow. The Bear family did all sorts of interesting things over the next few days. So interesting that they hardly thought about TV. They went on a nature walk. They watched tadpoles hatch out of their eggs. They watched an orb spider spin a magnificent web. They went shopping at the Bear County Mall. Sister used some of her savings to buy a kitty spool and some yarn. Brother bought a cute puzzle. They did have to keep an eye on Papa though. When they were at the mall, the Cubs caught Papa in the TV store. Uh-oh. He was sneaking at, to look at a game show. Another time, he went downstairs in the middle of the night for a peek at the late, late movie, but Mama and the Cubs stopped him just in time. Oh, they caught him walking down there in the middle of the night trying to sneak the TV. The next e evening, it was the last day of their no TV week. The Bear family have, was having a lively conversation at the dinner table. They all agreed that the week had been a success. But brother had a question. Mama, he asked, what is it you don't like about TV? What do you have against it? Goodness, said mama. I don't have anything against TV. I like it. What I'm against is the TV habit. Sitting in front of it day after day, like old stumps, waiting for dry rot to set in. Well, said brother. Tomorrow, I'm going to get a whole bunch of snacks and watch TV all day. Me too, said sister. Me too, said Papa. But the only one who did watch it all day was Papa. Brother got interested in his cube puzzle and finally solved it. 
Sister started knitting a rug on her knitting spool. Finally, even Papa had enough and decided to bait his hook for a couple of those leaping trout. The end. Awesome. You guys did so good. I'm so proud of all of you for listening to that story. You guys want to talk about it a little bit? So what was Mama Bear trying to get her, what was her point that she was trying to get across to Papa Bear and brother and sister Bear? Does anybody know? No. That but could I, could I show you something? Yeah, in a minute. That maybe her, when she, when you sit and watch TV day after day, that you're missing out on nature, right? You're missing out on a lot of other fun stuff. Mm. No, I'm gonna show you something. Bye. Awesome. Bye bye. I'm gonna I'm show you. Go ahead and stop the recording, okay? I love 